Hey everybody, how we doing today? My name is Michael and welcome to Misfits Adventures. I'm working. I'll tell you more about it in just a few seconds. But you know what to do first, right? Go down below. Go ahead and uh, give us that like. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel by clicking that and then ring that bell. And once you do, you'll get notifications every Sunday that we have a video coming out. Hey, we'll be right back. I'll tell you more what's going on. All right, guys, so I am here at the RV park here in uh, Desert Hot Springs, DHS, as they call it here. Uh, Dion is still in Phoenix, and guess what? It's Christmas Day. Yeah, I have a shift. It started today at uh, 9 o'clock. It's about 10 now. I got the camera ready and everything, and I'm just going to go out and uh, check out everything. I have nobody to bring in today. Thank God it is Christmas Day. If people were traveling on Christmas, they should be shot. Not really. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so I'm going to be here uh, putting people in if somebody comes in uh, until 9 o'clock tonight. So Dion is at her aunt's house, and uh, they're having a big festivities because it's all family there now. Uh, her daughter's there, and her granddaughter's there, and all her cousins and everything else. So Dion's helping today cook, uh, I guess, the turkey or whatever they're having today and all the fixings and everything. So she's there in uh, Phoenix still. What am I doing? Well, I'll tell you that in a little bit. Let's go drive around a little bit, okay? Come on, girl. You get going. All right, it's a beautiful day in Desert Hot Springs for sure. Uh, temperature right now is probably about 68. Uh, you can see up on the mountains over there that uh, there's no snow, but we did have rain the other day. I'm gonna take you over down here to the end of the uh, drive. There's at the tippy top of uh, the mountain over there, there's some snow. So that's pretty cool. This is where this is where I like the snow to be is up on top of those mountains, by the way. So uh, looks like everything is all quiet here. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if you can see it way on the top on the top of that peak of that roof of there, but there's a little bit of white snow up on that top up there. So all right, I'm gonna go down. Uh, the first person I have to bring in tomorrow is gonna to be in 550, and that's down here. No, excuse me, 516. So I'm going to uh, check it out, make sure that their spot is okie doke. This is what I do, 21, 20, 18, 17, and this is 16. And look, it looks pretty darn good if you ask me. We'll go see. Park the buggy. Yeah, they got nice pads here. So what they would do is they would pull in here, as you can see. And uh, yeah, got their water over here someplace. Water's over there, sewage is here. Uh, what do we got going over here? Everything's good on the pedestal. Yep. Yeah, I gotta check the pedestals and everything on these guys. So let's see, everything's off. We're in the water. All right, so I run the water. So when they do put theirs on, it's got a lot of rust in it that hasn't been used for a long time. Not like a normal park that we live in or work in. All right, so the site is pretty much done. Uh, palm trees, guys, that's all I get. Got fire hydrant here, I didn't see that. Cool. Uh, I need to wash it. They, they left it pretty dirty for me. I just uh, got it back last night. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna take off. Oh, see what they do is they give me this whole list of uh, people here. And uh, these are all the folks that are coming in over the week. So nothing today, but Tuesday I have this site here. And then uh, 512 down, actually down here. I know it's clean because I did it the, two weeks ago. I'll just go by and check. So yeah, I think we have about uh, 35 people coming in, 40 people coming in uh, before the first of the year. So I know on the first, I think they got like 20 people. So 
I'll tell you more about what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just working out this week and we'll figuring it out after this week's over with. So all right guys, so we're gonna continue our journey. We'll go ahead and uh, go down. These are some nice folks here. That nice big rig. They've been here. Oh, I take it back. They're new people. It's the other people were right here. I put this people, this guy in. He's he's gonna be here till February. Whoop. I don't know if this is working out me driving and holding the the thing. So basically all my sights are cleaned up right now that, that I have for tomorrow. Um, I know everybody else has their own way of doing it. I don't like cleaning the sights until I know the people are coming because sometimes people don't come. And then the wind blows, down here especially. And then it gets all dirty again and so you might as well just do it just before they get here, get up in the morning and do it. You know that you have time because nobody really comes in here until after 12 or 1. Um, and they can come all the way in here late at night until 9 o'clock and wake me up. If they come later than nine o'clock, then uh, the guys at the gate will, or girls at the gate, people at the gate will, they'll go ahead and then tell them that they have a little overflow parking here. Uh, they don't like them to park themselves. It's pretty much self-explanatory here. It's not like uh, some other parks that I've worked at. Hey guys, Merry Christmas. Some folks walking their dogs. It's one of the washes like I showed you the last time. It's nice to have a golf cart for the week anyway. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about anything else. Putting people in their sights is very easy. It's an easy job for your site. I just need money. I told you that last four, four videos, so. Uh, I got some plans. We're gonna figure this all out. Hopefully the plans come up. Everybody's out and about, walking around. Yeah. So I'm gonna go up to the gate. I know there's nobody up there. I'm just gonna check out everything. Everybody's ho-hoing around. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Some people don't say Merry Christmas. Some people do. I don't know. It's okay. I say it all. I'll say Happy Hanukkah too. Hanukkah was already. All right, guys. So we got the uh, office coming up over here. And uh, this is where all the activity, as I showed you that, are. Yeah. So, yeah. Beautiful day. We'll go out the gate and come back around. I know there's nobody out there at the gate. I'm the only employee on, I got a feeling. And I don't even know why I'm on, because there's nobody here, so I'm just told I have to be here. So there's guys playing golf out there, a couple. Yeah. Automatic gates here. This is pretty cool, I like this part. It's all a gated community. Security 24-7. Don't get no hobos here. Just kidding. I don't even know what a hobo is. And there's not supposed to be anybody in there. And there isn't. But that's the uh, little guard shack that they have. They just built it. They've never had one before. Uh, the new company bought them out and they decided that they need more security because this place wasn't secure before very well. Uh, there was no security, a matter of fact. And there was nobody at the gate. And they left the gate open all day. So it didn't have... Uh, Shouldn't even have had a gate here or a fence. I mean, just let everybody in. So yeah, there was a bike stolen and everything else. I guess last year people were telling me as I was putting them in their spot, some folks from Canada lost their bikes. And I know how that feels. I would be very upset if I had to lose my bike. So yeah, so this is Christmas in uh, Desert Hot Springs. Uh, Palm Springs is that way. Anyways, yeah, Palm Springs is over in the canyon over there. It looks like it's really close because the mountain's so big, but actually up and over those trees and stuff, oh, it's about 15 miles that way. So yeah, it's, uh, this is a big valley. Goes all the way out to Indio, Salton Sea, goes all the way down into Mexico. So it's a big, 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 big valley. Not very many mountains on, well, there's some on the Pacific side and then there's some on the Eastern side, but basically it's a valley that goes all the way straight down, so past the Salton Sea and all that stuff. All right, guys, so what is our plans? My plan is to work out this week here. Dion has been in Phoenix, and Dion actually has a job. Um, she starts at Amazon uh, on the 4th of uh, January, which is, uh, what, next week sometime. Um, she also has a job with Roberts Resorts, where we worked for them before. 
in Phoenix. Um, I've been trying and she's been trying since we left Durango to get on with the same company at a, another park in Arizona. We put in our applications, never heard back from anybody. Uh, we got down here when Dion left and everything and I decided this wasn't the park. Uh, I think it was around Thanksgiving or before Thanksgiving even. I uh, went ahead and uh, tried to call the lady and uh, I got a hold of her and then she tried to get a hold of me. I think after 33 emails, um, I finally got a hold in an interview with her, which did really nothing. Uh, I gave her all her information, Dion's and mine. Uh, Dion changed her jobs to what the jobs they had right then and there, which was housekeeping and something else. The other one was bartending and waitressing or something uh, from Roberts. Uh, she ended up, was in the hospital for like a week and a half, and she never answered me, never did anything, so I didn't know. Um, but after we got the phone call from her, I told her all about Dion, told her all about everything that's going on with us, uh, told her we worked for Roberts, we're still probably in the system, and we're going back to Roberts in the summertime. We'd like to continue with the same company. And then, uh, so she said, okay, well, I'll contact the manager, I'll do this, I'll do that, and then all this stuff happened, and guess what, we didn't get a job interview yet from anybody. But Dion did. Dion uh, actually uh, went over there because she's in Phoenix. She drove over to the place and uh, she got the job and she starts on the 27th. The only problem is I don't think they know who she is and they don't know who I am. Uh, they don't know that we're together. Uh, because then when they asked about my job, like, well, we don't know anything about that, so we'll, we'll find out if they need somebody, you know, in that. And I got dogs barking behind me. This is, we're going to go driving, uh, take off. I got to go put my code in, and, uh, hey, it started up the first time. All right, let's put the code in, which is... Oh, the gate's opening. I was gonna sit up here for a few minutes and try to record y'all people coming in and stuff, but it just gets too noisy up there. Anyways, we'll go over here and uh, check things out, make sure everything's okie dokie. It's a really pretty day here in Desert Hot Springs, I'm telling you. Nice, nice, nice. Check out all the folks. Golfing. Ryan's right, a free golfing today because because <laughs> nobody's here. I mean, everybody's out. You don't see that many people out on Christmas Day. Let's see if the pro shop is open. I don't even think the pro shop's open. Nope, that's the office. Like I was showing you before. This guy's trying to four wheel it. All right, so. Gate looks good, everything looked too good up there. We're gonna go over here and check out some other stuff. Check out the shop, make sure it's still there and nobody stole it. <laughs> I don't know, nobody would steal the shop, it's a big building. Uh, I found out something here too, besides having their garden that everybody can get involved in, they also have a wood shop here. Um, you just have to go and sign your life away and say if you cut yourself or hurt yourself or kill yourself, you're not gonna sue them. But yeah, they have a workshop over here that we can all use. So that's pretty cool. Christmas. Merry Christmas. People walking around. All right, guys, this is the shop. Is it open? Nah, it shuts Christmas. Good. Yeah, this is where all those pickleball courts were. I was telling you about before. I don't know who's four wheel drive that is, but yeah, those are all the pickleball courts that we saw the last time when Dion was here. Here's the shop. Maybe it's going to be quieter here and I can sit and talk for a second. How's that? All right, I was trying to tell you what's going on here and uh, it wasn't working out too well. Too many people in, in the background moving around and golfers and all that stuff. Uh, but anyways, let me, let me finish what's going on. So uh, Dion is there in Phoenix. Um, I did have the interview over the phone and I talked to the nice lady. Uh, that was from the park up in Phoenix. 
uh, had an interview with her. She told me she was going to talk to the manager and get that all straightened out. But it's Christmas, so it's going to take some time. And I said, yeah, OK, I'll be patient. Uh, Dion went over there to have her interview. And I don't think they put the two together, that Dion and I are together. Uh, they didn't offer her a spot. They didn't say anything about that. Um, they didn't tell her right then and there that she was hired. They actually called her up, or actually, I think they emailed her. Um, and she sent me the email. Um, she doesn't have to do any onboarding or anything like I had said, so it's really easy peasy to f hire us. So yeah, I, I, I think that what happened was it's just a big misunderstanding. Uh, of course, it's Christmas time and nobody's going to be around, so they all are not in the office. So on the 27th when she goes, we'll find out more about me working there or not working there, me taking the position of housekeeping. Uh, and her working at Amazon, and uh, that way I can pay for the site and I can make a little money, and that's all I really need. I need like 500 bucks a week, 400 bucks a week would be nice, you know, but that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> I mean, if I made $100, $150 a week or like $400, $500 a month, I would be happy as hell. Uh, I can pay all my other bills with Social Security, I just can't pay the bills getting beer. Uh, paying for the website for this, paying for all the other stuff that I do. So yeah, I can't afford all that stuff. So, do need to work, and I like working. I hate sitting around. All right guys, so this is what's going on. I'm just waiting for, for a, uh, I guess, a phone call saying, hey, come on down. But I did want to work out the week here. I don't want them to feel that, um, yeah, I'm taking advantage of them. I don't want to do that. I'm not that type of person. Uh, she called me in the office, the manager here at uh, this park, Sands, and uh, her name is Stacy, and she asked me, she says, well, I heard you're leaving. I said, yeah, I'd like to be with my girlfriend, and she's in Phoenix, you know, and she doesn't want to come back here because her daughter's there. I don't blame her. So, yeah, I want to be with her. I don't want to be here by myself. Not that I don't like the park. I love the park. Everything's good here. I like all the people, have no problems. I don't have a problem with the job. It's probably the easiest job I've worked at a campground. But I need money, and I want to be with Dion. So she understood that. She asked me, should I hire somebody? I said, yes, ma'am, I think I would. So she went ahead and hired somebody. I guess they'll be in this week, or they're already here. I'm not really sure. But I promised her that I would work from the uh, 25th, which is Christmas Day here, which I am, and all the way to the 31st. So we'll see what happens there. I'm, I'm going to try to. Uh, if somebody calls me and says, hey, get your butt over here. We need you. I'm going to get my butt over there because they need me, and they'll understand, and everybody else should understand. I just want to be with my girlfriend, and it is Christmas, and they're all having a good time being off the other employees, so I didn't stick them. So, yeah, I don't like doing that to people. That's just awful. All right, guys, so we're going to drive around a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go back in. Um, I've got some things I want to show you. You see this thing right here? I'll tell you all about it when we get back to the house. How's that sound? So, guys... I went home for a little bit. I did get somebody uh, to put in. There was supposed to be nobody today, uh, but we had to walk in, which is really cool. So, put those folks in their spot. Uh, they're doing okay. They're, uh, I don't know, they're, uh, I guess they've been here before and they've got friends here or something, so that's where they're at. I'm just driving around a little bit. Show them I'm working and I'm here if they need me. But yeah. This is what I'm looking at. Yeah. We'll see. Look at the mountains up there. Isn't that pretty? I love it this time of day when the mountains get lit up. All right, guys. Seems like I stop here a lot, but uh, this is probably the quietest place on the park right now. So, anyways, hi. All right, so let me tell you what's going on. So I started to up earlier today. Um, I got, we got all that stuff taken care of next week. So maybe we, will, I will be leaving the property. So guys, this is what I wanna show you. I got the uh, Rode wireless microphones. I got the Rodes 2 for Dion and I. Um, on top of the camera, there's a little pack just like this one. And it actually, it is the uh, receiver. And then this is the transmitter. So as I'm talking, hopefully you can hear me okay and hopefully everything is okay. And uh, the voice sounds good. 
a car is going by, hopefully you don't hear that too much because I do have that little furry cat thing on there. So hey, yeah. So anyways, guys, uh, we're going to test this out for the next couple weeks and see how it works. I used it on the last video, but we'll go ahead and use it on this video also. So uh, yeah, testing one, two, three, huh? It's working pretty good. All right, uh, I got to drive around, check everything out. Somebody just came in the back gate here, make sure it's locked. And uh, yeah, hopefully nobody else comes in today. Go down here. See those folks that I put in their spot and make sure they're okie doke. <clears throat> and that's them there. They're all out and relaxed. They're from the area too, so that's good. Yeah. And then the, the ones that I was going to put in at this next spot up here, uh, they won't come in until tomorrow, I guess. So that's okay too. Merry Christmas, hey, Merry Christmas, man. So, yeah, so. We got a bunch of people in. Uh, we got more people to come this week. I think Friday is my busiest day, and I think there's like 12 or 13 people, uh, unless they come earlier. Uh, tomorrow I do have one. I think I have nothing on Wednesday. So you never know. Some people might just come early. Some people might not even show up until next week. We don't know. Uh, so anyways, guys, uh, yeah, this is Christmas in the park. <laughs> I'm having a ball, actually. I've been uh, home checking out the videos and uh, uploaded a couple of the uh, shorts. So go check out our shorts. Um, I think I've put out 20 of them since I've been here and we've gotten actually a lot of good hits and a lot of new members. So that's always nice. And I want to thank everybody for subscribing. I have like uh, 41 new subscribers. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you enjoy our uh, channel. Uh, we have a lot of fun. Do a lot of nothing sometimes, but have a lot of fun. So yeah. All right, guys, I am gonna go head up front real quick and see how everything is over there. And uh, yeah, everybody's uh, doing their walk, the afternoon walk. And I guess the dinner's at four, it's now three. So they've got, a, they got about an hour before dinner comes. And like I said, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna sit at home, I'm gonna go ahead and make some dinner myself. I'm gonna do uh, I like I like my macaroni and cheese casserole that has hamburger in it and green beans and spinach and all that good stuff in it. So I'll eat that for the week, I think. Uh, like I said, hopefully next week sometime uh, we'll figure out where we're gonna be for the winter, the rest of the winter. And uh, I'll get out of here probably next week sometime the end of the, the end of the week, right after the new year. So, all right guys. Lots of people out. Let's see. I'm gonna go back out and go back in again. Make sure everything's working and everything looks good and all that good stuff. Isn't that pretty? The grass, all these palm trees. They're desert hot springs, man. There's a lot of palm trees here in this whole area millions. Some natural, some brought in years ago. This park, I uh, didn't tell you, I don't think, this park was established in the 60s, so a lot of this old growth stuff in here, especially the palm trees, are like 30 feet high. Normally you wouldn't see that. All right, gate looks good. Nobody's up here. Somebody left the lights on, but that's okay. Well, I'll go back up here, go ahead and uh, put my code in, get through. I'm going to go back home. There we go. Sorry, the sunlight's in your eyes. Gate's going up and down okay. No problemos. Hey, look at that golf course over there. Isn't that pretty? San Jacinto's got a little snow on the top. Probably melting by now. It's still a little warm. Up there, it's probably a good... Uh, I'd say it's a good 10 degrees, 15 degrees colder up there. It's about 68 degrees here. So, straight out that way is Dillon Road, if people know where that is. And, uh, yeah, it's so pretty here. I love the golf course. <laughs> I, I, I don't play, like I said before, but I think it's so pretty if they keep them up. Yeah. 
Oh, I gotta go in and check my mail. So, hey, I'm gonna run in really quick and check that. Haven't checked it since we've been here. Not like we have any or not, but we might get something. All right, I'm gonna get in a handicap spot because that's the kind of guy I am. I'll be right back, I'm going inside. So a lot of these parks here, uh, or down here, have a mail room, and that's what they look like. You go in and there's little mailboxes just like the post office inside. And uh, yeah, I got a key, and you get your, you get your crap. The only thing I got was please pick up uh, your dog poop. But since I don't have a dog, and or he's not here, and we always do anyways, I'm just kind of silly. All right, all these people are trying to park, and he's handicapped, and I'm in the handicapped spot. So I'm gonna move right now, get out of everybody's way, which are all trying to bring their food for the dinner. So, get the buggy rolling, and we'll get back to the camper. How's that? Oh, I thought that was my boss. Nope, that's my neighbor. Hello. How you doing? Happy uh, Christmas. Yeah, whatever it is. How you doing? It's pretty good. You uh, ready for good dinner? I hope so. I'm gonna go make myself something, a hamburger or something later. I gotta work today. I don't want to go in. You go, have a good one, man. Merry Christmas to you both. Yeah, so a lot of people are just getting ready. They're putting all their food in here to keep it warm. Uh, a lady just told me that it's different than most places. I said, how's that? She said, well, usually you take your stuff and put it on a big table. But no, you just feed the people that are at your table. Oh, okay, well, I guess that works too. So you got to put everything on the table. So hopefully they have big rounds and there's, I don't, I don't know how that's going to all work. That's their, their thing. What I say before, not my circus, not my monkey. Yep. Yeah, this is a really pretty time of day though. It's my favorite. It's when you can see the mountains are all lit up and just everything looks pretty. All right guys, we're gonna go back to the uh, house. I'm hoping this microphone system works out really well uh, because I'm tired of, when I edit with the headphones on, all I hear sometimes is wind and everything else. And with this little cat thing on it, it's probably gonna sound a lot better. Let's see, trash can, I dumped it a little bit ago when I came out, should be okay. People always put stuff on top like I showed you before. Oh well. All right, I'm gonna get to the house, put all this stuff up, and I'll talk to you in a minute. How's that sound? All right guys, I gotta go to this uh, 393 Tell them not to park where they're parking and park someplace else because somebody's coming in tomorrow, they said. So that's way up over here. Got to go run the machine too while I'm out. You know the routine. You know what I got to do. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't know about these microphones. I don't think they're working too hot. Oh, look, here he is right now. Let's see. 293, 293, 293, 293, 293. I said they wouldn't come in until tomorrow. Huh. Okay, somebody's moving and I gotta go. So guys, I uh, had to put somebody in their spot that was back over here. Um, he uh, actually purchased the spot. So he, I guess he keeps that spot and then he brings in vehicles and rents them out to other people, which is pretty cool too. So uh, that spot will be rented out in the next couple days. I've got it on my list. Uh, he was just bringing it in now so the people can uh, stay in it. So had to get somebody out of the parking spot that wasn't their parking spot, but you know, people do that. They'll park in all the spots here, so. Like everywhere else, whatever. All right, guys, so I am going to drive around a little bit. I know that that spot's cleaned. Uh, let me see. Yeah, let's get going here. There's the trailer. Make sure they got in okay. Uh, gonna go check them out down here. Ron's gonna go anyways, so. 
be in that spot for them. Putting people in their spot. I'm not supposed to put people that are already here just swapping out campers and stuff, and that's what these folks are doing. There you go, you got over too far. Yes, that's when they start turning. I'm not supposed to help them, but I'm just gonna sit here and watch them, make sure they're all good. He's doing good. I don't have my name tag on. Isn't that a bad thing? No, not really. Nobody knows who I am. Guy's a good driver. He delivers these for a uh, reason here, you know? It's what he does for a living. All right, oh, uh, you got it. He's clipping it, but he's got it. Pretty cool, huh? Good driver, dude. I hate watching people do this, but you know it's fun. Look at that, he's got the slide just perfectly. That's what you call a professional. Yeah, he's cocking it out, but he's gonna go forward and straighten it. Right there is good, but now you gotta go back. There you go. This guy came in with a uh, class, no, he came in with a fifth wheel the, a couple weeks ago. Same guy. He's a good driver. It's all right. Everybody's. Ooh, he's going back far. All right, I'm going to go. Hey, good luck. Au revoir. Hmm. All right, guys. So, they get up here and we'll talk. Maybe, maybe not. All right, guys, I had to go ahead and put some people in their spots and uh, uh, get all that stuff done. Uh, everything's all cleaned up for the week. Um, introduced myself to a guy that does clean the sites before me. Um, he just got through cleaning everything, went over it with him. And uh, I'm gonna just go over every day and make sure everything's still clean and everything's still good. And uh, good to go to put people in. I've got one coming in today, not till about four, so I got to go get their paperwork. I'll go up front. Uh, and yeah, I got, I think, nothing tomorrow or maybe one or two tomorrow. I don't know, but I got a bunch. I think I got like 30 by the end of the week. So, anyways, guys, uh, we're going to call this quits. You know? And uh, before we do that, you know what to do. You can go down below and you can go ahead and uh, give us a big like. And then after that, subscribe. And then ring that bell, and when you do, you'll get notifications every week that we have a video on Sundays. Hey guys, we appreciate you for showing up every week and watching us. Uh, we thank you very, very much for subscribing for everyone. We've got a brand, bunch of brand new people watching us now, so hey, we love y'all. Get on our website and check it out, Misfits Adventures. Uh, that's MisfitsAdventures.com. And on it, uh, we write a blog on there. There's pictures and photos. You can see all the videos uh, on YouTube from there. So check that out. We also have Patreon, and Patreon helps us out immensely. It gives us uh, monies and supports us. So if you want to uh, help us out and get on Patreon and see what's on there, uh, go check it out. They have three different, we have three different uh, tiers to choose from. Uh, so check it out today. And this is what Patreon is for, okay? Go ahead and read that. All right, guys, so we're leaving you, or I'm leaving you. And uh, we will see you next week. You guys be good and be kind. And uh, hopefully I get to Phoenix and see Dion soon. I'm really missing her.